What started as a dark, quiet night on Water Street in downtown Lancaster ended as a loud and busy night for the Lancaster City Police Department. Yeah, you got a point. All right. Officers worked undercover to catch men looking for prostitutes. Put your hands behind your back. In this case, that prostitute is an undercover officer. Sir, you're under arrest for uh, solicitation prostitution. Lancaster City Police say prostitution is a constant problem and it's happening on these city blocks. We spent a night on the road with the officers working to stop the notorious practice. A Lancaster City undercover officer prepares for a night on the streets. Two and a half hours later, the undercover team arrests four men for allegedly trying to pick her up. Unlock your car. CBS 21 News was along for the ride. We suited up in bulletproof vests, ready for a routine prostitution detail with Lancaster City's Selective Enforcement Unit. As long as I've been a police officer, and I'm sure longer than, it's been a problem, and it's mainly confined to the areas of uh, usually Water Street and the adjoining streets. And we get people from in, in the city and out of the city coming in to pick up our prostitutes. To your businessmen, to your pastors, to your, copy. We're at clearance station. the average person, to you know other drug users. Okay, like I said, it's a good deal. What kind of car? Within 10 minutes, police have their first suspect, commonly referred to as a John. Hey, just so we're clear, back seat passenger or front seat passenger? Back, the rear seat passenger. All right, we got it now. Officers make the arrest. How you doing, sir? I'm Officer Lowe at the city police. You're under arrest. Now it's back to cruising and waiting. The person's getting up courage. What they do is they'll park. Sometimes they'll circle around them. They'll park the car. They'll wait for her to approach them. There's there's various ways that, you know, they try to make the contact with the, uh, the undercover. All right. That's a no-go. Throughout the night, <laughs> multiple deals fall through. Sometimes it takes two or three tries to actually to work a deal or... It has to be a very specific um, wording that we use. Or we need very specific phrases. Though, if, if it doesn't go right, we can't solicit her um, actions. They have to solicit. All right, she's in contact with another one. Within one hour, police find a second John. It's going to be a white truck. Right now, it's still parked on Vine. All right, he's supposed to meet her there. Do you just want to have somebody yeah. move in? Yeah, go, go, go. Our cruiser jumped on the call, speeding through Lancaster City streets to get into position. All right, camera car's got this. We're, we're almost behind him now. Once officers Lowe and Roche met the vehicle in question, they trailed it, pushing it out of the area so the flashing lights, instantaneous police presence, and the eventual arrest did not expose the undercover investigation set up a couple of blocks away. Is everything on you illegal? No drugs? Guns? Police say ending prostitution is a priority, not only because it's a quality of life concern, but police say prostitution can lead to more serious crimes involving drugs, assaults, and robberies. According to the Lancaster City Police Department's records, in 2008, the department had 55 calls, either made by police or citizens, suspecting prostitution. Because of those calls, police held details and made 29 arrests throughout the year. This year, out of a total 41 calls through the end of October, police made 31 arrests. That includes the four men arrested and charged during our CBS 21 News Undercover Exclusive. Police called it a successful night, but they know the problem is not gone for good. We hit it quite often and it keeps happening. It's, it's constant. Officers Lowe and Roche understand they'll be out cruising for Johns again soon. With the Lancaster County Mobile Newsroom, Jenny Joyce, CBS 21 News.